Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's uh, Chef Fabio76 coming at you on this Wednesday, uh, October 3rd, 2018. Uh, the title of my video is the presidential alert and what you need to know. I'm um, sitting here today, I'm at work, I'm at my lunch break, I'm just out in my truck getting out. Um, if you don't know today, uh, there will be a presidential alert that will be sent to 255 million phones around this country. Uh, coordinated through FEMA and the Department of Homeland Security. It's a new system that they are testing to uh, alert uh, us citizens for different types of emergencies and whatnot. So what are some of the facts and what are some of the concerns? Well, this is not something that was created by Donald Trump. Everybody's already saying that that's his uh, creation. No, it actually was passed in 2006 under the Bush administration um, to eventually create a presidential alert system like we have now for weather. We get ones for weather and we get ones for amber alerts. And amber alerts are again, folks, people that, you know, children that are go have gone missing or abducted. You can turn those notifications off on your phone. If you have an Android or an iPhone, um, you can go into your settings and switch those off. Um, this presidential alert system, once it's fully enacted, as of right now, today is just a test, is uh, will not be able to be turned off. The only thing you will be able to do is just shut off your phone if it's coming through. Uh, so a lot of people are very concerned and they're, and they're out to be. Um, and, uh, you know, w what is it leading to? Well, there's many reasons. Uh, my opinion, uh, we know for a fact, it's well documented that, uh, Presidents Obama, George W. Bush, President Clinton have used different things in their presidency to try to get some sort of crisis to get eventually martial law. And I won't get into the details. There's plenty of videos on that. If you'd like a separate video, I'll, I'll do a more in-depth one. Uh, my opinion, I think, uh, especially if you listen to, um, there was a one gentleman I listened to, his name was, uh, oh, uh, he's the health ranger, Mike Adams. There we go. Um, laid out a very solid case of why he thinks Trump might use martial law in a good way, take back the country and save it from, you know, globalistic threats, etc. the democratic party, the left, all that. So uh, again, I won't get into that. That's There's videos he has on that, and I can touch more on that in another video. But um, could this be the step toward that? Are we looking at martial law? Are we looking at a crisis coming down, a war, disease, monetary collapse, EMP attack, you know, all the things that we've been preparing for and we talk about in our videos and all the things that we share in our community. So uh, there are a lot of people that don't even know this is going to happen. Um, I will just tell you, I work in a retail store setting. Um, I cannot wait at 218 to see people will panic. Um, they are not going to know what's going on when it comes on their phone and what to do, even though it's going to say this is just a test. Um, I believe there's also an initial alert going out at 118 from what, what I gathered. There's a 118 alert, but it's just going to say that there's a, a, a test of an alert. And then at 218, the full presidential one will come through as a test uh, to those people that have the phones. Um, one of my associates in my department pulls out his phone, flip phone. He won't be getting it, <laughs> so that's great for him. Um, so it's uh, things people that need to understand why this is coming out. Uh, again, this was a law passed in 2006. This, this is all after 9-11. Remember, put in the kind of all after 9-11, the Patriot Act, all these laws that were passed to take away our rights, to restrict our freedoms. Um, they've tried in many ways, and they haven't been su as successful, but these are things that they're doing to eventually uh, get full control um, as is the, the new real voter ID law that was passed that nobody knew about that um, will require you in pretty much almost every state to have a uh, federal driver's license, whether it's what's called a real voter ID here in New York where I'm at, or you can get a regular standard driver's license, which here in New York, they're going to just label it as non-federal. Um, again, that's another video I think I might touch on, but um, if you don't get this federal national ID driver's license, you will not be able to fly domestically. You will not be able to enter a federal building. So uh, here in New York, we also have another version in the middle, which is called an enhanced, um, which will allow you to do those things. And I'll touch more on that, on, the, on, on that. But if you have a standard driver's license after October 1st of 2020, you will not be able to domestically board a flight unless you have a passport. And you'll not be able to enter a federal building unless you have other form of identification that would be allowed. So but getting back to my initial co topic here, so this presidential alert will come through our phones. Um, I'm hearing now it's going to last for 20 minutes to a half hour. Um, I, I just, I might even just document it. I might even just 
pull out my phone and just at that time uh, and see what will happen. But um, I think it's gonna, a lot of people are gonna be very surprised that don't know this is happening. Um, and they're, they're, it's gonna cause some people to be a little panicked, just like, 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 the, like the, what happened in Hawaii with that uh, uh, nuclear attack that was actually, the button was pushed to have that alert system go through and you saw thousands of people you know, panicking for the time frame that that lasted and, and what that did. So let me know what your, your thoughts are. Uh, like or subscribe. Continue to uh, support me and my channel. And be safe. Tell your loved ones you love them. Get ready, folks. If you're not already ready, you already have a plan for anything, get ready. Um, a lot of things are going to be happening in the next couple months, I think. You're going to start to see a lot of things as they come forward and the things that they've got planned. And you just got to be ready at all times. So be prepared. Have a plan. And uh, um, tell your loved ones you love them again. Like I said, God bless America. We'll catch you in the next video. And uh, comment below. Let, let me know what you think. And uh, catch you later. All right, Chef Fabio 76 on this presidential alert at 2.18 today, Eastern Standard Time. All right, catch you later.